I'm from Arizona. Uh, I have a math background. I went to Bryn Mawr College right outside of Philadelphia, and I got a master's degree and my PhD there. Uh, graduated in 2016, and then afterwards went to work for a year at Colorado College as a visiting assistant professor. So I knew that I wanted to do something that would make it so that my six years of math uh, in grad school didn't go to waste. So I was looking for something heavily quantitative. I also had played around with coding uh, throughout graduate school and really liked it. So I was looking for something that combined those two things. And then uh, of all of the boot camps that I did research, I really decided uh, that I wanted to do this one because the curriculum seemed so comprehensive. Uh, and it started from first principles, which I also felt was good to lay a strong foundation, uh, and then, then it progressed to uh, the place that I would want to be uh, for applying to job. Everyone has really different backgrounds, which is awesome, and so everyone is kind of just coming together and uh, working on things, sharing their unique ideas. The instructors and TAs are always very willing to help. And then the capstone project was really the most important and most formative. It was a company project. We had a, a real client come give us data and analyze it. The project was in the mobile advertising realm, uh, meaning that it had to do with getting people to click on ads when they appear on their phones or tablets. My group was given a huge amount of data uh, regarding people clicking on ads or not clicking on them for one month. And the data itself was, was enormous, uncompressed. It was around 30 terabytes. As far as tools, we had to use Spark uh, to just to, to work with it. Since, since the measure of success in this world is to get people to click or, or that people click, we wanted to find out if we were to try and predict that, how should we do that? And so, it makes sense that, on one hand, using more data should give you a better model. On the other hand, using something more specific should give you a better model. So ultimately, our project was just running an experiment to see, well, which is better if you're trying to predict clicks for a specific company. And then what we found was that it, it is better to use machine learning models trained on company-specific data, but that difference between them is maybe not as big as you would think. So it was something, I think, interesting to look at. The role that I am now in is uh, as a data scientist at National Grid, and they came to the hiring event. Uh, and Well, they actually came a week before <laughs> and then spoke to us about the roles available. I did make contact with them uh, mm -hmm. when they came and spoke to us then. Then at the hiring event, I followed up, spoke to them a little bit more. Uh, and then the whole thing from there on is really quick because they brought me in two days after the hiring event for an on-site interview. Uh, and then they basically said the next day that they would, they were going to offer me something. Let's say you are looking for a boot camp. I would say try to match your existing skill level with one that is appropriate. Uh, I think that if you have no coding experience, it's really important to get those fundamentals in because you want to succeed. So I think matching your current level of experience, or at least knowing that you can get to the level you need to be at by the start is really important. For people who maybe have already been accepted but haven't started, I would say do the pre-work. Really do the pre-work um, because it, it is nice to have the first month of the boot camp be pretty laid back and just solidifying everything you, you learned. For people in the boot camp, I would say uh, just hang on for dear life. Uh, and by that I mean go to the lectures in person if you can, uh, as much as you can, pay attention as much as you can, ask questions as much as you can, do your homework as much as you can. And uh, so yeah, I guess I just feel really grateful for the overall experience and for the fact that it, it did allow me to change my career in a short amount of time and into something that I, I'm enjoying a lot.